acquired on the well-known worldwide marketplace. It's a, a three-speed. It was fitted to the uh, BSA C10 in about, I think it was about 1938 or something. The first thing, before you take the cover off, you've got, you've got seven nuts and three cheese head screws around the side, around the uh, outer cover. And you've also got two plungers here that need to be need to come out before anything else happens because otherwise it will pull bits right that's the two plungers as you see spring-loaded little plungers they're removed I should put them somewhere safe and uh, also I've already removed the the uh, clutch mechanism, and now I sh and now I shall remove the outer cover. And there is the outer cover removed. On that gear, which moves the uh, selector forks along, there's a lot. There are two lines: one on the gear and one on the outer quadrant. And when replacing them, they have to be in line. The other thing: that peg holds, goes through there and holds the, the spring that is in there. Holds the spring central so that the, the gear lever, gear foot, foot change lever, always comes back to its central position. And if that one isn't out far enough to engage in between that spring, then you'll be scratching your head because I was for a long time I had to push it in a, yes another eighth about an eighth of an inch something like that to get it to uh, actually engage with that spring so now I can remove this little lot together that spring in there that spring is a pain to get to uh, to, to put in and if, if you take that central uh, axle out then it will possibly fall apart so I should leave it exactly as it is. Find that this stuff a bit of sort of really good quality cardboard is ideal and it also gives for me at least on this this particular box each one is individual of course and it gives that little bit more clearance which makes the, uh, all the wheels seem to turn a lot easier. So that one was made out of one of those boxes. Now, to remove the inner cover, there are three more little, I think it's quarter Whitworth bolts that need to be removed. Right next, we move the kickstart stop pieces. And then the next thing is to move this cover.
Right, to get the uh, all the gears out in one lump, the uh, selector fork uh, driving shaft needs to be loosened and it's held in position with another little plunger. And there's a little uh, screw that holds the plunger in position. And to, be, to extract the plunger we need a, a quarter BSF screw and that screws down into the plunger. Give them a couple of threads and out it comes. And now I'll put those somewhere safe. And now the whole lot should, hopefully, come out together. And there we are. There's the um, all the gears, plus the selector forks, all in one nice little bundle. One thing in passing that I did notice, if this nut here is excessively tightened, you should just strain that, the shaft off off of centre somehow. Whether it's just this gearbox I don't know. So I am a bit wary of putting too much, too much tension on that one. There it is there. It's, a, it's held by a, a lock nut anyway. So it shouldn't move once in service. But it's worth remembering that that one can cause things to bond. Back to the, uh, the inner cover. The, uh, the book says that the uh, main shaft should have no play at all, which um, sounds a bit precarious. And the lay shaft should have a uh, five thou. Well, this one was <laughs> nearer to twenty thou. So what I did was made a a washer to go behind there. But the problem I found with that, first of all, it's a bit too tight now, and the second thing is the new spring. The new, the new spring, the new uh, kickstart spring that I put in is showing a pretty nasty wear mark there as if it's being pushed onto the gears. So I shall remove that washer and put uh, a shim washer on the, on, on the uh, actual lay shaft. Lay shaft. That should um, prevent the uh, this spring being pushed onto the gears. Right then, there's the cluster all together, complete with the selector forks. Got to be careful, don't drop it. So, just a case of putting it back into the box now.
That was amazingly painless. Something's bound to go wrong. I put off actually, which should give it a clearance of about five thou on the leash on it. So now I have to put the, the little The other retainer, selector for control mechanism, that has to be locked into place, so put that back in there, it should go down some, some way actually. Is that in there? Perfect, that seems pretty good. Right, gasket in place, first washer in place. Kickstart spring, looks reasonable. Just a case of putting that back on there now and see, see if it still works. Feels solid. The inner cover is replaced. I can just discern the tiniest amount of play, and I'm not going to have no play whatsoever. There's a little bit of play there as well. The uh, the kickstart return stop. Two two pieces are put back on there. What is most important is to get these. This there's a line on the quadrant, and there's a line on the little gear. And that really needs to be, that is most important to get that, that line up, I don't know if that can be seen or not. If not, you just have to take my word for it, there is a, a very important, it's very important to get those two, two marks lined up on there. And then, It's a case of now there's a the plunger is still back in there and back in here of course but what is also most important when replacing this is to make sure as I've said before to make sure that that, that little dowel goes be goes between the two prongs of the spring. That dough has got to go between those two prongs of the spring to ensure that the the, the uh, gear change lever comes back to its original position. And then it's a case of lining it all up and hoping for the best. The screw, screwdriver slot allows you to bring that back so that it goes over this rubber, the little rubber buffer there. So now I can pretty well line up where the where the plungers are going to go there and that should ensure that that little dowel goes between the two prongs of the spring. 
not forgetting the gasket, of course, made from the from the cap food box. Just that much thicker, which seems to benefit it a bit. That looks like it may have gone right. Now to put the plungers in. Please have a quick check. And you can see that the, the indentations are pretty well correct for the plungers to make with them. And that looks good to me. I'm sorry if I can't focus for the camera. And then just screw them in. I'll tighten them right down later when I I'm sure that they will. Just give them a So there we are, that is, um, if you can see that, that is, that is neutral. One up is first gear, that's first gear. Back to neutral again. Second gear. And third gear. Yeah. So back to second gear. Neutral. And first gear. Voila. Well, uh, 